All right, so now that we finished with the FBM drilling operation on the top view, there's no other operations to create on that top view. So we want to move to the front view. So we want to flip our part. We want to change the axis, change the planes and flip the part and machine this front view. Now, obviously I cannot leave the part like that and come in with a tool and machine it like that. So I need to flip it. So the front view becomes my new top view. So we're going to create a setup in this video to help you understand that a little bit better and help you learn how to set that up. Now we've done that earlier in one of our exercises, but this is a little bit more practice with an extra setup because we created a setup number one. This is going to be our second setup. This side, the right side is going to be our third setup. Let's go ahead and create it for the second setup right now. First, what I want you to do is to come over here under your toolpath group manager and go over the toolpath group number one. Now this is created by default. Let's go ahead and get rid of it because we already created one, especially for the FBM drill. FBM drill creates its own toolpath group. Let's go ahead and right click over here, go to groups and go to delete. That will delete that leaving only the FBM drill and all the operations inside of that. Now let's go ahead and rename FBM drill. Go ahead and click on it twice. You have to leave your mouse there. Otherwise it does go back to the grayed out and call it setup number one and hit enter. So that will change the name of the toolpath group to setup number one. All right. So now we're ready to set up for the front view to be our top view. So come over here under planes and this is going to be our front view. So this is the front view right here. What we want to do to be able to change the origin and, and make some changes to it, as you can see right now, it's grayed out. I can't move the origin. I can't do anything. So what you want to do is right click on front and select duplicate. That will duplicate it to a new view. Okay. You can right click on it and rename it. If you want to call it front new view or whatever you want to call it and hit enter. And now you're able to select a new origin. Now, usually if you've noticed, I always like my origin to be at the bottom left side of the part. If I put this in the top view, the top uh, plane, the bottom left is right here. So this side, the bottom left would be down here. So I really want to use, move the origin from the top to the bottom. All you need to do is to come over here under X, Y, Z, this little arrow right here, click on it and now select your new origin. And I want it to be at the bottom left. Make sure X is going to the right. Y is going to the top and Z is perpendicular to your hole because that's the tool plane. Okay. Now one very important aspect, do not forget to come over here, either select the equal to, to move the world coordinate system, construction plane and tool plane over here, or you can simply click on these boxes and that will move all three of them down here. I'm going to go ahead and select equal to, and that will move all of them down here. Okay. So that's really it. All you need to do now is to come over here under view and select isometric view and that should flip the part. So the part is facing upward. So make sure you're seeing it just like I'm seeing it here. Otherwise rewatch the video and try to figure out what you have missed. So now the part is all set up and ready. We're going to create the machining operation for this pocket in the next video.